Unit Six: Life on Other Planets. Lesson One: New Words. Listen and repeat. Number One: Earth. Number Two: Temperature. Number Three: Gravity. Number Four. Mars. Number five. Venus. Number six. Space station. Number seven. Oxygen. C. Listen and read. A New Home in the Future by James Stone. Our planet Earth is becoming more and more crowded. The world's population will reach 11 billion by 2100. I think we will need to find a new home in the future. The options are really exciting. One option is to live on another planet like Mars or Venus. It's important that the planet has similar gravity to Earth. We need gravity to stay healthy and on the ground. Venus's gravity is similar to Earth's, but Mars's is much lower. Temperature will also be a problem. Mars is very cold, and Venus is very hot. People will need to stay inside all the time. Mars and Venus also don't have enough oxygen for humans. Another option is to live in space station. We can build these near Earth, so people won't have to travel far. However, they're small. There won't be room for people to move around. Also, there's no gravity on a space station. Living there for a long time will affect people's health. We don't know where our next home will be yet. There's no other place like Earth. Our new home will be strange, but very exciting. Grammar. Listen and repeat. Where will people live in 2080? I think that in 2080, people will live on the moon. Pronunciation. B. That sounds dangerous. That's crazy. Pronunciation. C. That sounds great. That's unbelievable. Unit Six: Life on Other Planets. Lesson Two: New Words. Listen and repeat. Number One: UFO, Unidentified Flying Object. Number Two: Flying Saucer. Number three, disc-shaped. Number four, appear. Number five, strange. Number six, disappear. Number seven, alien. Number eight, huge. Number nine, tiny. Number ten, terrified. Listening. Listen to two interviews with people talking about strange things they saw. Hello. I'm Danny Conrad from Space Watch TV. I'm here with Nancy Walker. She saw something strange last weekend. What happened? I was reading in my garden when I suddenly heard a strange noise. I looked up and saw a UFO. Really? Are you sure it wasn't an airplane? No, it was too fast, and it was disc-shaped. That's strange. What happened next? I called out to my husband. 
He ran outside, but he didn't see it. Do you believe it was from another planet? Yes, I think it was a flying saucer. Thank you, Nancy. Now, our next guest is Jim Daniels. He saw two aliens last Friday. What happened, Jim? Well, I was playing soccer when I saw two very strange people in the park. They were walking towards me. What did they look like? They were green, and they were very tall. What happened next? I ran away. That sounds scary. Who do you think they were? I believe they were aliens. Conversation skill. That's strange. That sounds scary. Grammar. Listen and repeat. What happened? This afternoon, I was walking in the forest when I saw a UFO. Pronunciation. B. I was walking down the road. What was it doing? Pronunciation. C. I was walking through the forest. What were they doing? C. Listen and read. Andy Space Blog, The Night I Saw a UFO by Andy Wilder. I'll never forget the time I saw a UFO. I was ten years old. I was in the park with my older brother. It was summertime, but the park was very quiet. We played soccer until it got dark. We were getting ready to go home when we saw a strange light in the sky. It was moving quickly and making a loud noise. We ran home and hid under my brother's bed. We were really scared. The UFO hovered above our house for a few minutes, and then it flew away. My brother thinks it was an airplane, not a UFO. I think he's wrong because airplanes can't hover like that. I really believe it was a flying saucer from another planet. Unit 7. Teens. Lesson 1. New words. Listen and repeat. Number 1. Dream. Number 2. Director. Number 3. Dentist. Number four. Engineer. Number five. Vlogger. Number six. Musician. Number seven. Flight attendant. Number 8. Game designer. Number 9. Veterinarian. Number 10. Journalist. Listening. Listen to Margaret talking to her mother. Hi, Mom. Hi, Margaret. How was school? It was good. We talked about our dreams for the future. Mine is to be a doctor. Oh, I thought your dream was to be a famous actress. It was, but I think that helping people is more important than being famous. What about Patricia and Barbara? What's their dream? Theirs is to work at a bank. Why do they want to work at a bank? It's because they want to be rich. Hmm, I see. How about your friend Ken? His dream is to be a vlogger. That's a good idea. He's very funny. I know. Mom, when you were my age, what was your dream? Oh, mine was to become a musician. But Mom, why didn't you do that? It's because your father and I didn't have the same dream. His was to start a family. Oh! Conversation skill. That's a good idea. 
That sounds great. Grammar. Listen and repeat. My dream is to become a singer. What's yours? Mine is to become a famous soccer player. Pronunciation. B. Dream. B. Teacher. Pronunciation. C. Bread. Teen. Read. Need. Unit seven. Teens. Lesson two. New words. Listen and repeat. Number one. Yacht. Number two. Helicopter. Number three. Sports car. Number four. Mansion. Number five. Jet. Number six. Home theater. Number seven. Celebrity. Number eight. Millionaire. C. Listen and read. T. J. Rockwilder, celebrity millionaire, by William Wilson. Last week, I flew to Miami to interview T. J. Rockwilder. The fourteen-year-old musician is famous for his song "Bad Boy Summer." This is a nice mansion. Tell me about it. He said his mansion had twenty rooms because he liked to invite all his friends to stay overnight. He also told me he had a special gaming room and a home theater. What can't you live without? He told me that he couldn't live without video games. Do you have any pets? He said that he did. He told me that he had a big dog, and that she slept in his room. He also told me that he had two parrots. Their names were Paul and Matthew. Do you go to school? How do you get there? He said that he went to school by helicopter most days. He told me that his dad was a pilot. What do you do in your free time? He said that he traveled to islands on his yacht. He told me he went to a new island every weekend. Grammar, listen and repeat. I have a sports car. He said he had a sports car. Pronunciation, B. Reported, told, said. Pronunciation, C. Had. Wrote. Played. C. Listen and read. The Teen Stress Problem, by Alex Cooper. These days, many teenagers feel stressed. At school, they have a lot of things to study, and they often have tests. Many students attend extra classes after school too. When they get home. They have lots of homework to do. When they finish their homework, they have to help their parents with chores. This means that many young people don't have much time to relax, so they find it difficult to sleep or focus on their schoolwork. I have some ideas about how to help teenagers with this problem. I think that schools should have yoga classes because yoga can help reduce stress. I also think that parents should give their children some time to relax after school. I really believe that if more young people do yoga and relax, they will be less stressed. Unit eight: Traditions of ethnic groups in Vietnam. Lesson one: New words. Listen and repeat. Number one: Embroidery. Number two, 
basket. Number three. Cloth. Number four. Pottery. Number five. Headscarf. Unit eight. Traditions of ethnic groups in Vietnam. Lesson one. New words. Listen and repeat. Number one. Silver. Number two. Ethnic. Number three. Pattern. Number four. Product. C. Listen and read. The Cham are an ethnic group in Vietnam. Their population is about 180,000 people, 2019. They mainly live in central and southern Vietnam, in provinces such as Ninh Thuận and An Giang. The Cham are very talented at making crafts. The Cham in Ninh Thuận are especially famous for their pottery products. They make everything by hand. The Cham women make pottery and the men help them by collecting wood. The Chem in Anzang, on the other hand, make beautiful cloth. The cloth has traditional patterns such as squares, clouds, flowers, etc. A special piece of cloth can take up to 15 days to make. An experienced Chem woman can make enough cloth for one simple skirt each day. The Chem wear simple but pretty clothes. Both men and women wear long skirts with shirts. In central Vietnam, Chem men wear white headscarves. The women wear long shirts, similar to Ao Zai, and belts over their shoulders and across their bodies. In southern Vietnam, Chem men wear hats instead of scarves, and the women cover their hair with long scarves. Grammar. Listen and repeat. The Red Yao in Lao Cai province eat a famous dish. They call it gum lam. Pronunciation. B. Ethnic. Silver. Shiny. Pronunciation. C. Pretty. Perfect. Common. Special. Unit 8. Traditions of Ethnic Groups in Vietnam. Lesson 2. New Words. Listen and repeat. Number 1. Blouse. Number 2. Apron. Number 3. Sticky Rice. Number four. Steamed. Number five. Utensils. Number six. Corn. Listening. Listen to Sarah telling John about her vacation. Hey, John. Hi, Sarah. Do you have a good summer vacation? It was great! I went to Ha Zang in Vietnam. Wow! Yeah, I met a really interesting Pu Peo girl. Pu Peo? It's a small ethnic group in Vietnam. Oh, cool! I asked her what her name was. She said it was Chang Thị Mai. What else did you ask her? I asked her what she usually wore because her clothes were very different. And? She said she usually wore Pu Peo traditional clothes. She was wearing a long blue skirt, a black vest, black apron, and a purple headscarf. That sounds pretty. Yeah, I also asked her what her family did, and she told me what they grew in their field. Oh. She said they grew corn, rice, and beans. Interesting. Lastly, I asked her what she did for fun. What did she say? She said she liked sewing. 
I like sewing too. I didn't know that. Conversation skill. O and grammar. Listen and repeat. What crops do you grow? I asked her what crops she grew. Pronunciation. B. Grow. Sewing. O. Pronunciation. C. Cloth. Go. Home. Clothes. C. Listen and read. I had an exciting trip to June Village. It's an old village by Lac Lake in Dak Lac Province. My family and I visited this village last summer. There's some hotels in June Village, but we decided to stay in a homestay with the Menung family. We joined lots of fun activities. We went boating on Lac Lake. I think it's one of the most beautiful lakes in Vietnam. We also visited a Menung traditional stilt house and watched a gong performance there. It was really interesting to listen to the sound of gongs and do a folk dance with local people. My family and I ate many kinds of traditional food, like com lam, grilled chicken, and lo cao lang. They were delicious. We also learned how Menung people make their traditional cloth and baskets. Our trip to June was very exciting. I think you should spend your vacation in this beautiful village. Unit one, review, listening. You will hear Jenny talking to her mom about leisure activities. Which activity does each person like? For each question, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Jenny. Dinner is almost ready. Did you have fun at the park? Yes, Mom. We played handball. I love playing handball. Oh, that's great. Did Alice play too? Yes, she did, but not for long. She prefers designing jewelry on the weekends. Oh, how about Becky? Yes, Becky always plays with us. She loves hanging out with friends. She's really good at handball too. That's nice. Did you see Chris? Yes, Chris stayed in the park with us all day, but he didn't play handball. He doesn't like playing sports. But he enjoys watching sports. How about Daniel? He was there, but he was bored. He prefers going rock climbing, but he couldn't go this weekend. Oh, poor Daniel! Was Emily there? No, Emily stayed home. She loves playing board games with her brother on the weekends. She doesn't usually come to the park. Now listen again. Hi, Jenny. Dinner is almost ready. Did you have fun at the park? Yes, Mom. We played handball. I love playing handball. Oh, that's great. Did Alice play too? Yes, she did, but not for long. She prefers designing jewelry on the weekends. Oh, how about Becky? Yes, Becky always plays with us. She loves hanging out with friends. She's really good at handball too. That's nice. Did you see Chris? Yes, Chris stayed in the park with us all day, but he didn't play handball. He doesn't like playing sports, but he enjoys watching sports. How about Daniel? He was there, but he was bored. He prefers going rock climbing, but he couldn't go this weekend. Oh, poor Daniel! Was Emily there? No, Emily stayed home. She loves playing board games with her brother on the weekends. She doesn't usually come to the park. Unit two, review, listening. You will hear two students talking about country and city life. Listen and fill in the blanks. You will hear the information twice. We need to plan our presentation on city and country life, Jessica. I know, I know. Let's do it. Okay, 
What are some good things about living in the city? There are lots of museums and malls. There are so many things to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. I also like the cafes. Me too. What about the country? Well, there's lots of nature. There's more fresh air too. You're right. Much more than the city. Yeah. Okay. What about bad things about the city? That's easy. There are too many vehicles. Yeah, there are. What else? There isn't enough room. I agree. There aren't many parks or places to run around. Okay, and the country? There are too many animals. I'm scared of snakes and so many other animals. Hmm. Okay. I like all the animals in the country. I think we should write that there aren't enough schools. That's a good idea. Let's write that. Now listen again. We need to plan our presentation on city and country life, Jessica. I know, I know. Let's do it. Okay. What are some good things about living in the city? There are lots of museums and malls. There are so many things to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. I also like the cafes. Me too. What about the country? Well, there's lots of nature. There's more fresh air too. You're right. Much more than the city. Yeah. Okay. What about bad things about the city? That's easy. There are too many vehicles. Yeah, there are. What else? There isn't enough room. I agree. There aren't many parks or places to run around. Okay, and the country? There are too many animals. I'm scared of snakes and so many other animals. Hmm. Okay. I like all the animals in the country. I think we should write that there aren't enough schools. That's a good idea. Let's write that. Unit three. Review. Listening. You will hear a teacher talking about pollution. Listen and fill in the blanks. You will hear the conversation twice. Pollution is a problem in many places, but air pollution affects our town the most. It causes many diseases. Every year, thousands of people die because of air pollution. If we don't do anything to improve it, we will need to stay indoor most days. Children won't be able to play outside, and exercising outdoors will make you sick. So, what can we do to reduce air pollution? Power plants. Often cause lots of air pollution. Our government should use renewable energy like solar or wind instead of coal or oil. Each of us should save electricity because it takes lots of energy to make electricity. The town should make public transportation better so people will use it more. If we all walk, ride our bikes, or use public transportation, there will be less traffic and air pollution. Now listen again. Pollution is a problem in many places, but air pollution affects our town the most. It causes many diseases. Every year, thousands of people die because of air pollution. If we don't do anything to improve it, we will need to stay indoor most days. Children won't be able to play outside, and exercising outdoors will make you sick. So, what can we do? To reduce air pollution, power plants often cause lots of air pollution. Our government should use renewable energy like solar or wind instead of coal or oil. Each of us should save electricity because it takes lots of energy to make electricity. The town should make public transportation better so people will use it more. If we all walk, ride our bikes, or use public transportation. 
There will be less traffic and air pollution. Unit 4 Review Listening You will hear a boy talking to his classmate about a disaster. Listen and complete questions 1 to 5. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Ben. That's an interesting picture. What are you reading? Hi, Sue. I'm reading about a typhoon. It's called Typhoon Mamie. This is what it looks like from space. Wow. When was that typhoon? It was in 2003. Oh, okay. Where was it? It mostly happened in North and South Korea, but it affected other countries too. Was it a very strong storm? Yes, it was very strong. It caused a lot of damage, and many people died. Oh no! How many people died? 120 people. How much damage did the typhoon cause? It caused almost $5 billion of damage. Wow, that's a lot of money! How strong was the wind? The highest wind speed was 280 kilometers per hour. Now, listen again. Hi, Ben. That's an interesting picture. What are you reading? Hi, Sue. I'm reading about a typhoon. It's called Typhoon Mamie. This is what it looks like from space. Wow. When was that typhoon? It was in 2003. Oh, okay. Where was it? It mostly happened in North and South Korea. But it affected other countries too. Was it a very strong storm? Yes, it was very strong. It caused a lot of damage, and many people died. Oh no! How many people died? 120 people. How much damage did the typhoon cause? It caused almost $5 billion of damage. Wow, that's a lot of money! How strong was the wind? The highest wind speed was 280 kilometers per hour. Unit 5 Review Listening You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the correct answer A, B, or C. Here is an example. Which tablet has the biggest screen? Hello, how can I help? I would like to buy a new tablet. Okay, we have three great new tablets for you to choose from. Great, I really want one with a big screen. Okay, first we have the Edge 4. It has a 10 inch screen and an 8 hour battery life. Okay. Next, we have a Zorro Pad. It has an 8 inch screen and a 10 hour battery life. Finally, we have the Style Pad. It has a 9 inch screen and a 15 hour battery life. I see. I would go with the Zorro. The answer is Edge 4, so there is a tick in box B. Now we are ready to start. Look at question 1. Number 1 Which robot can work faster? Hey, look at these new robots. They're really cool. Wow! What can they do? They can lift heavy things and navigate difficult situations. Are they new rescue robots? Yep. Lucas is stronger. Luna can work faster. And Spot can navigate better. Cool! Now, listen again. Hey, look at these new robots. They're really cool. Wow! What can they do? They can lift heavy things and navigate difficult situations. Are they new rescue robots? Yep. Lucas is stronger. Luna can work faster. And Spot can navigate better. Cool! Number 2. What is Laura's favorite thing about her new phone? Hey, Charlie. I got a new phone. Do you want to see? Sure. Wow, that looks awesome. It's so good. It has such a nice big screen. I love it. How much does it weigh? That's the best thing. 
It doesn't weigh very much. Great. How's the battery life? It's pretty good. It's about fifteen hours. Nice. Now listen again. Hey Charlie, I got a new phone. Do you want to see? Sure. Wow, that looks awesome. It's so good. It has such a nice big screen. I love it. How much does it weigh? That's the best thing. It doesn't weigh very much. Great. How's the battery life? It's pretty good. It's about fifteen hours. Nice. Number three. Which laptop has the longest battery life? Hello. Can you help me choose a laptop? Sure. What do you want to use it for? For games and studying. Okay. The Slim Plus has a battery life of around fourteen hours. Okay. What about that one? Does it have a long battery life? The Block HD has a battery life of around twenty hours. It has a great screen too. Hmm. And the Future Lab? It lasts for sixteen hours. Hmm. Okay. How big is the Future? Now listen again. Hello. Can you help me choose a laptop? Sure. What do you want to use it for? For games and studying. Okay. The Slim Plus has a battery life of around fourteen hours. Okay. What about that one? Does it have a long battery life? The Block HD has a battery life of around twenty hours. It has a great screen too. Hmm. And the Future Lab? It lasts for sixteen hours. Hmm. Okay. How big is the future? Number four. Which robot cleans more carefully? Can you help me buy a robot cleaner? Sure. These are our latest robot cleaners: Pete, CB Bot, and Konai. They're very easy to use and can work quietly. Konai is more expensive. Why is that? He works more quickly, and his battery lasts longer. Does he clean carefully? No, Pete cleans more carefully, but he works more slowly. Hmm. I think I'll buy. Now listen again. Can you help me buy a robot cleaner? Sure. These are our latest robot cleaners: Pete, CB Bot, and Konai. They're very easy to use and can work quietly. Konai is more expensive. Why is that? He works more quickly, and his battery lasts longer. Does he clean carefully? No, Pete cleans more carefully, but he works more slowly. Hmm. I think I'll buy. Number five. How is the Power Plus tablet better than the Zero One tablet? Hello, Miss. Can you tell me about these tablets? Sure. This one is the Power Plus, and it costs one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. And this one is the Zero One, and it costs two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay. What is good about the Zero One? It doesn't weigh much, and it has a long battery life. It has lots of storage too, at around thirty-six gigabytes. I see. How long is the battery life? It's twenty-five hours. Okay, and the Power Plus? It has the biggest screen of all our tablets, but it doesn't have much storage. I see. How much storage does it have? It has around sixteen gigabytes of memory. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the zero one, please. Now listen again. Hello, Miss. Can you tell me about these tablets? Sure. This one is the Power Plus, and it costs one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. And this one is the Zero One, and it costs two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay. What is good about the Zero One? It doesn't weigh much, and it has a long battery life. It has lots of storage too, at around thirty-six gigabytes. I see. How long is the battery life? It's twenty-five hours. 
Okay, and the Power Plush? It has the biggest screen of all our tablets, but it doesn't have much storage. I see. How much storage does it have? It has around 16 gigabytes of memory. Hmm. Okay. I'll take the zero one, please. Unit 6. Review. Listening. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Here is an example. What did Alice see? Hey, Paul. Are you okay, Alice? You look worried. I just saw something really strange. What happened? I was walking home when I saw a strange light in the sky. A strange light? What was it doing? The answer is a strange light in the sky. So there is a tick in box B. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Number one. Where does David think people will live in 200 years? That's the end of my presentation about space travel. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? I have a question, David. Mm, yes, Jenny. Where do you think people will live in 200 years? Mm, that's a good question. I think that in 200 years, people will live on space stations. Now, listen again. That's the end of my presentation about space travel. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? I have a question, David. Mm, yes, Jenny. Where do you think people will live in 200 years? Mm, that's a good question. I think that in 200 years, people will live on space stations. Number two. What won't people be able to do on Mars? I think I'd like to live on Mars. Why would you like to live there? Mars has beautiful mountains. It doesn't have any water, so people won't be able to go swimming. Now, listen again. I think I'd like to live on Mars. Why would you like to live there? Mars has beautiful mountains. It doesn't have any water, so people won't be able to go swimming. Number three. What did Alex see at the market? John, guess what I just saw? Hey, Alex, what did you see? A flying saucer. I was shopping in the market when I saw a round object in the sky. I think it was a flying saucer. Wow! Did you take a photo? Now, listen again. John, guess what I just saw? Hey, Alex, what did you see? A flying saucer. I was shopping in the market when I saw a round object in the sky. I think it was a flying saucer. Wow! Did you take a photo? Number four. Where does Lisa's teacher think people will live in the future? Mr. Keith? Yes, Lisa? Where do you think people will live in the future? I think that people will stay on Earth in the future. Really? Why? Earth is the only place with the perfect temperature and gravity for us. Now, listen again. Mr. Keith? Yes, Lisa? Where do you think people will live in the future? I think that people will stay on Earth in the future. Really? Why? Earth is the only place with the perfect temperature and gravity for us. Number 5. Where did Ben see an alien? Do you believe in aliens, Nick? No, I don't. Do you? Yes, because I saw an aliens last week. Really? Where? It was standing outside my window in the middle of the night. That sounds scary. Now... Listen again. Do you believe in aliens, Nick? No, I don't. Do you?
Do you? Yes, because I saw an alien last week. Really? Where? It was standing outside my window in the middle of the night. That sounds scary. Unit 7. Review. You will hear a man and a boy talking about dreams. Listen and fill in the blanks. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Dad. Hi, Danny. How was school? It was good. We talked about our dreams for the future. Oh? Do you still want to work at a bank? No. Now, my dream is to become a director. I want to make movies. Mm, okay. What about Alex and Peter? What's their dream? Theirs is to become vloggers. Vloggers? Yeah, they want to make videos for the internet. Hmm, I see. Uh, how about your friend Ken? His dream is to be a musician. That's a good idea. He's a very good singer. I know. Dad, when you were my age, what was your dream? Oh, mine was to become a musician too. But Dad, why didn't you do that? <laughs> it's because I met your mother, and she told me that I was a terrible singer. Really? Yes, but I think she's wrong. No, Dad, stop it. Now, listen again. Hi, Dad. Hi, Danny. How was school? It was good. We talked about our dreams for the future. Oh? Do you still want to work at a bank? No. Now, my dream is to become a director. I want to make movies. Mm, okay. What about Alex and Peter? What's their dream? Theirs is to become vloggers. Vloggers? Yeah, they want to make videos for the internet. Hmm, I see. Uh, how about your friend Ken? His dream is to be a musician. That's a good idea. He's a very good singer. I know. Dad, when you were my age, what was your dream? Oh, mine was to become a musician too. But, Dad, why didn't you do that? <laughs> it's because I met your mother, and she told me that I was a terrible singer. Really? Yes, but I think she's wrong. No, Dad, stop it. Unit 8. Review. Listening. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Here is an example. You will hear two friends talking about Khmer traditional clothes. What do Khmer women wear? Hey, today I learned about Khmer traditional clothes. It was interesting. Cool. What are their clothes like? The women wear a special kind of skirt with shirts and head scarves. Their clothes are colorful. The men's clothes are simpler. Yeah, women's clothes are usually prettier. The answer is shirts, skirts, head scarves. So there is a tick in box A. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Number one. You will hear a Hmong girl talking to her mom. What did her classmates ask her? How was school today, Fung? It was great, Mom. My classmates asked me so many questions. Yeah? Lan asked me if we always wore traditional clothes, and Fung asked me how we celebrated Tet. They really liked learning about our culture. That's great. Now, listen again. How was school today, Fung? It was great, Mom. My classmates asked me so many questions. Yeah? Lan asked me if we always wore traditional clothes, and Fung asked me how we celebrated Tet. They really liked learning about our culture. That's great.
Number two. You will hear a red Zhao woman talking about Zhao clothes. What's special about their clothes? Our clothes have lots of beautiful embroidery, but the special thing about our clothes is that we decorate them with lots of silver. Here are some silver flowers, and here you can see different patterns such as the sun, the moon, and stars. Now listen again. Our clothes have lots of beautiful embroidery, but the special thing about our clothes is that we decorate them with lots of silver. Here are some silver flowers, and here you can see different patterns such as the sun, the moon, and stars. Number three, you will hear a girl talking about her trip. What did she like? How was your trip to Vietnam? It was amazing. I met a Nung family and tried lots of food. Nung? The Nung are an ethnic group in Vietnam. So, what food did you try? Sticky rice, duck pho, and a black cake. I really liked the cake. Now listen again. How was your trip to Vietnam? It was amazing. I met a Nung family. And tried lots of food. Nung, the Nung are an ethnic group in Vietnam. So, what food did you try? Sticky rice, duck pho, and a black cake. I really liked the cake. Number four. You will hear a girl talking about Ca Thê Festival. Which activity did she mention? Hello, I'm Lin. Today I want to talk about one of our festivals, Ca Thê Festival. If you visit a Cham village in October, you'll see how we celebrate it. We perform traditional dances and play lots of folk games. It's a very fun time. Now listen again. Hello, I'm Lin. Today I want to talk about one of our festivals, Ca Thê Festival. If you visit a Cham village in October, you'll see how we celebrate it. We perform traditional dances and play lots of folk games. It's a very fun time. Number five, you will hear a boy talking about an A Day tradition. What did he say? How was your trip? It was fun. We learned a few things about A Day culture. Yeah. I asked them what special tradition they had, and they said the men lived with their wives' families after getting married. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Then you'll love this. Only girls get houses and money from their parents. Boys don't get anything. I love it. Now listen again. How was your trip? It was fun. We learned a few things about A Day culture. Yeah. I asked them what special tradition they had, and they said the men lived with their wives' families after getting married. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Then you'll love this. Only girls get houses and money from their parents. Boys don't get anything. I love it. Semester one project. Listen to Harry's presentation and circle the phrases you hear. Hello, my name's Harry Wilson. Welcome to my presentation. I'm here to talk about the effects of pollution and how our school can help. Our town has lots of environmental issues. The biggest one is water pollution. If we keep polluting the water, it will make our drinking water dirty. Air pollution is also a problem. If we keep polluting the air, plants and trees will die. Land pollution is another problem. Animals will lose their homes if we don't stop polluting the land. Our school can help with these issues. I think we shouldn't waste water at school so that we can reduce water pollution. I think we should plant some trees in the playground and ride our bikes to school. This will reduce air pollution. Finally, I think we should reuse our plastic bottles so we throw away less plastic. If we don't do something soon, pollution will get worse. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions?
Semester two project. Listen to Annie outlining her group's presentation about a new robot. Listen and fill in the blanks. Hi everyone. My name's Annie, and these are my friends, V and Andy. Today we'll talk to you about our new robot, the Rescue Bot. If you want to keep safe during a disaster, this presentation will be very interesting for you. Our presentation is in three parts. First of all, V will talk about the issues humans face during disasters. Next, Andy will explain how the rescue bot can help. Finally, I'll tell you about the rescue bot's special skills. Over to you, V. Thanks, Andy. Every year, people around the world have problems during disasters. It can be difficult for rescue workers to find people because they're so. Even when they try their best, sometimes rescue workers cannot save people. Now, Andy will explain how the rescue bot can help rescue workers. Thanks, V. The rescue bot can navigate through dangerous situations more quickly and carefully than any human. It can carry two people at a time. Next, Annie will tell you about Rescue Bot's special skills.